The Chase family crypt was constructed in 1724 by James Elliott, located in the Christian Church Paris Cemetery in Barbados. It was built half into the ground and was entered by descending stairs made out of six stone steps. To seal the crypt, a giant slab of blue stone was placed across the entrance. Strangely, the crypt remained empty until 1807 when Mrs. Thomasina Goddard was interred. The following year, it was purchased by Thomas Chase when his two-year-old daughter, Mary Ann Maria, died and was laid to rest there. Chase decided to leave Thomasina's body undisturbed where it lay and the crypt was resealed. In 1812, another child of Thomas named Dorcas Chase had died and it was opened again. Dorcas is rumored to have starved herself to death as a consequence of her father's cruelty. Two months later, her father, perhaps plagued by guilt, committed suicide and joined his children in the crypt. When Thomas Chase was laid to rest in 1813, the grave diggers opened the tomb to a scene of some fright. All the coffins had shifted around the room and this in a crypt which hadn't been opened since the death of Dorcas Chase in 1812. Nothing had been removed from the coffins and the seal on the large marble door, a cement seal no less, showed no signs of having been previously broken. As an act of respect, the coffins were placed back into their original positions. Fast forward to 1816 and the death of 11-year-old Charles Brewster Ains and the tomb is opened once again. By now, all the locals have heard of the death and gathered for the ensuing show. The family was greeted by the same disturbing scene. The lead coffins were upset, some standing on end or tipped upside down. Only the light wooden casket of Thomasina Goddard remained where it originally was. When the governor of Barbados witnessed the bizarre scene for himself, he ordered an investigation. Sand was placed on the floor of the crypt to catch footprints of any grave robbers. The walls were checked for secret passages and the tomb was eventually sealed once again. The governor had his own personal seal imprinted on the cement surrounding the door. Some years later, at the beginning of 1820, there was another death in the Chase family. The governor and others arrived to witness the interment. The governor's seal was still intact with the heavy stone doors clearly showing that no one had entered the vault. The group must have waited with a mix of both anticipation and trepidation as the heavy stone door was slid back. Once again, the coffins of the Chase family had been thrown around as if they were weightless, some even standing vertically, and another found halfway up the stairs to the door. Only the fragile wooden coffin of Thomasina Goddard remained intact and untroubled. The governor decided that this was the final straw and ordered that all the bodies be removed and reburied elsewhere in the graveyard, and the crypt has remained empty to this day nearly 200 years. On a side note, the governor, Sir Stapleton, was struck by a horse-drawn carriage and killed. The entire household was attending his funeral when a photographer took a picture of his ghost sitting in his chair in his library. So what do you think? Could this be the works of something paranormal or something that can be easily explained? Let's hear your thoughts.